and Adamello is now pressed in the center by Candlestick with Shamaran towards the near side. Go Darcy, go, putting in a late bid on the outside. Coming down now towards the final flight in the Martinstown final and Candlestick in the center. Pressed now on the stand side by Shamaran and Shamaran with Go Darcy Go on the outside. Over the final flight and on the run towards the finish, Shamaran from Go Darcy Go, who's putting in a big run on the near side. They're racing up towards the finish, and it's Shamaran on the far side for Niall Kelly. Just got to hold Go Darcy Go. as close for third between Shanek and Candlestick, and they're followed in by Rosie Alice, who takes fifth from the longtime leader, Adamello. Coming down now towards the final flight in the Martinstown final and Candlestick in the center. Pressed now on the stand side by Shamaran. And Shamaran with Go Darcy Go on the outside. Over the final flight and on the run towards the finish. Shamaran from Go Darcy Go, who's putting in a big run on the near side. They're racing up towards the finish. And it's Shamaran on the far side for Niall Kelly. Just got to hold Go Darcy Go. As close for third between Shanek and Candlestick. And they're followed in by Rosie Alice, who takes fifth. Baden trying to rally the grey on the outside for Paul Townend. Move over Germany and Woodland Opera in behind. Baden has now made ground on the outside to join Super Sunday. All hell let loose. Move over Germany going for the rail. Down now to the final flight. And there's little to choose between Baden on the near side. Woodland Opera coming with a run on the outside of Super Sunday. And then move over Germany. And Woodland Opera now swoops on the outside to lead from Baden. Val de Furbe putting in a renewed effort. But it is Woodland Opera. And the colours of Mrs. Cooper will be another one for Jessica Harrington. Wins for Robbie Power, the Louis Fitzgerald hurdle. Val de Furbe, Baden followed in by Super Sunday. Move over Germany and Woodland Opera in behind. Baden has now made ground on the outside to join Super Sunday. All hell let loose. Move over Germany going for the rail. Down now to the final flight. And there's little to choose between Baden on the near side. Woodland Opera coming with a run on the outside of Super Sunday. And then move over Germany. And Woodland Opera now swoops on the outside to lead from Baden. Val de Furbe putting in a renewed effort. But it is Woodland Opera and the colours of Mrs. Cooper will be another one for Jessica Harrington. Wins for Robbie Power, the Louis Fitzgerald hurdle. Val de Furbe Bay. A cappella bourgeois off the last bend leads. Sandy Mount Duke, Coney Island, and Bells Hill towards the outside. They're on the run down to the final flight now. A cappella bourgeois, Sandy Mount Duke on the outside now. Bells Life in between them, Coney Island. The final flight now. And Bells Hill is over in front. Bells Hill lands in front for Ruby Walsh. In second is Coney Island. And on the run up towards the finish, it is Bells Hill. Driven out by Ruby Walsh. Coney Island trying to come back, but Bells Hill lasts it out to score for Andrea and Graham Wiley. Second is Coney Island, Sandy Mount Duke, third, Acapella Bourgeois, four. Sandy Mount Duke, Coney Island, and Bells Hill towards the outside. They're on the run down to the final flight now. Acapella Bourgeois, Sandy Mount Duke on the outside now. Bells Life in between them, Coney Island. The final flight now, and Bells Hill is over in front. Bells Hill lands in front for Ruby Walsh. In second is Coney Island, and on the run up towards the finish, it is Bells Hill, driven out by Ruby Walsh. Coney Island trying to come back, but Bells Hill lasts it out to score for Andrea and Graham Wiley. They're off the bend for home. Road to Riches pressed by Jack Adam. Don Poli is third. Q Carter's got ground to make up and Carlingford Lock is putting in his customary late bid with two to jump now. Road to Riches. Oh, he's gone. Road to Riches is down. Jack Adam is in front. Here comes Carlingford Lock and Don Poli. Q Carter's is trying to rally on the inside. Down to the final fence. Jack Adam pressed by Carlingford Lock. Carlingford Lock on the near side hits the front. On the run towards the finish, Carlingford Lock and Bernie Garrity lead. On the run up to the finish, Carlingford Lock for John Kiley and J.P. McManus win the Gold Cup for Bernie Garrity, Jack Adam, Don Poli and Q Card.
They're off the bend for home. Road to Riches pressed by Jack Adam. Don Poli is third. Q Carter's got ground to make up and Carlingford Lock is putting in his customary late bid with two to jump now. Road to Riches. Oh, he's gone. Road to Riches is down. Jack Adam is in front. Here comes Carlingford Lock and Don Poli. Q Carter's trying to rally on the inside. Down to the final fence. Jack Adam pressed by Carlingford Lock. Carlingford Lock on the near side hits the front. On the run towards the finish. Carlingford Lock and Barry Garrity lead on the run up to the finish. Carlingford Lock for John Kiley and J.P. McManus win the Gold Cup for Barry Garrity, Jack Adam, Don Poli and Hugh Card. Rounding the home turn, blow by blow with moving out after the leader now. Moon Racer, then Bacardi's followed by presenting Percy, racing towards the final furling and a half. And Moon Racer and Jamie Codd on the near side come to join blow by blow. Who's fighting on against the rail? These two stretch their lead over Bacardi's, racing inside the final furlong. And it's blow by blow and Katie Walsh from Moon Racer. Who's coming again on the near side? They're 50 yards to go. Blow by blow as they go to the line all the way and brings up a punches down. Fairy House Festival's double beats Moon Racer clear of Bacardi's very much so. Rounding the home turn, blow by blow with moving out after the leader now. Moon Racer then Bacardi's followed by presenting Percy racing towards the final furling and a half. And Moon Racer and Jamie Codd on the near side come to join blow by blow. Who's fighting on against the rail? These two stretch their lead over Bacardi's racing inside the final furlong and it's blow by blow and Katie Walsh from Moon Racer who's coming again on the near side they're 50 yards to go blow by blow as they go to the line all the way and brings up a punches down Fairy House Festival's double beats Moon Racer clear of big Column's dream is written to close, then Captain Cone and Ted Veal patiently written, then comes Drake Got Place, past the hat, and on the near side, Rogue Trader. Now they come down towards the second last, pair of brown eyes challenged by Irish Cavalier. Column's dream on the near side, lost Ted Veal, on the run now towards the final fence and the top weight, Irish Cavalier and Jonathan Moore come through the lead. They hit pair of brown eyes and Column's dream, and over the last, it's Irish Cavalier, the leader, and running up towards the finish, Irish Cavalier and Jonathan Moore are going to beat the home challenge here and they do it in style. Irish Cavalier for Jonathan Moore and Rebecca Curtis, Cullum's Dream second, pair of brown eyes third, past the hat and on the near side, Rogue Trader. Now they come down towards the second last, pair of brown eyes challenged by Irish Cavalier. Cullum's Dream on the near side, lost Ted Veal on the run now towards the final fence and the top weight. Irish Cavalier and Jonathan Moore come through the lead. They hit pair of brown eyes and Cullum's dream and over the last it's Irish Cavalier the leader and running up towards the finish Irish Cavalier and Jonathan Moore are going to beat the home challenge here and they do it in style Irish Cavalier for Jonathan Moore and Rebecca Curtis Cullum's dream second Round the home turn they come. Forge Meadow and Kate Harrington with the lead, chased by Augusta Kate and Patrick Mullins. Then comes Don't Kick Nor Bite and Declan Lavery. Copper K runs on towards the inside ahead of Glens Harmony, and these are clear. Now they race towards the final furlong. It's Forge Meadow with Augusta Kate digging down deep on the near side and is challenging and has hit Forge Meadow, racing now towards the finish. And it is Augusta Kate and Patrick Mullins in the lead as they run towards the line and she's going to make a third time lucky at a big spring festival and a day two treble for Willie Mullins, Augusta Kate got the better of the closing stages round the home turn they come Forge Meadow and Kate Harrington with the lead chased by Augusta Kate and Patrick Mullins, then comes Don't Kick Nor Bite and Declan Lavery, Copper K runs on towards the inside ahead of Glens Harmony and these are clear now they race towards the final furlong it's Forge Meadow with Augusta Kate digging down deep 
deep on the near side and is challenging and has hit Forge Meadow, racing now towards the finish and it is Augusta Kate and Patrick Mullins in the lead as they run towards the line and she's going to make it third time lucky in a big spring festival and a day two treble for Willie Mullins, Augusta Kate got the better of the closing stages of Forge Meadow and then Glen's Harmony clear from Don Kickner Bite, Copper K and Nikad's Benevent.